Hey guys, it's Barrett with the Gimpy Camper. So today, what we want to talk about is the Halo View Dominator camera. So I had a video about a year, year and a half ago about the MC-108 backup camera and the side cameras that I had. And for the most part, those were helpful, but you know, the backup camera, especially when you're traveling down the road, you had some issues with something this long. And so, you know, every now and then I would see a car behind me in the, in the camera there that would be passing my truck. Well, that's about a 40 foot range. And so, you know, there were safety issues there. And still, even with the upgraded system, I'm telling my wife, like, the last thing you need to do is look in your mirror. You need to look at the camera just for some self-assurance and reassurance there but you need to look at the mirrors before you actually turn. As far as the MC-108 camera that I had, it did a decent job for the price, but I got to talking to the folks at Halo View and I asked them what I could do for a better connection. And so they told me that they really recommended the Range Dominator camera. And to be truthfully honest, they sent me one for free, but I ended up buying it anyway. So what happened with that is I hooked the range dominator camera up that they sent me, which they said should integrate with the system that I had, but for some reason, everything was messed up. Now you gotta remember, I was going through all these electrical issues that I had with my camper. So my camper batteries were dead. That's when I put the lithium batteries on. Um, I had some tire damage, well, not tire damage. I had some suspension damage under one of my slides because when we came back from Huntsville, the suspension failed and Camping World put two new axles on there. That's been a whole big ordeal. I'm still not quite sure. I'm at the very end of that. So we're holding off to actually do an update on that. And I've also replaced my truck batteries since then. So I've had a lot of electrical stuff and I did a lot of things at one time and I wasn't sure, you know, why my camera wasn't working. The guys down at Halo View, they were really great about trying to help me through that process. And they kept saying that it looked like the cameras weren't getting a consistent power signal. What I really didn't understand though, is that after I hooked that new camera up, even my side cameras wouldn't work anymore. They wouldn't stay connected. I couldn't get them to pair or anything. And so I went back to Amazon and I ordered the full range dominator camera kit. I got a whole new kit, plugged it up. It works fine. I really think that what the problem was is where I run the wire for the, uh, the monitor through my dash. It was pinched a little bit with the hole that I had coming out because uh, basically the front dash cover pushes right up against it. And that's the only thing that I can come up with is maybe something happened right there because that's the only problem I found in the whole system. I hooked that new monitor up with the old camera and everything worked fine. So I have a lot of confidence in the system, even though I had a bad partial experience, if that makes any sense, because I think that it was something of my own doing. So let's talk about the pros of the range dominator camera. So the pros are definitely that you have this wire here. It's not as aesthetically pleasing, but it's way better function wise. And so you have the wire that comes out of the camera and it goes over the top of the whole camper. And they do include some little uh, zip ties with some 3M tape on there that are pretty helpful in putting that on. But since I did the uh, RV roof armor roof, that's changed the mounting system of that a little bit. But as far as everything functional wise, everything's the same. So that wire goes all the way to the front of the camper where there's a transmitter mounted. And that transmitter then relays the information from this camera to the monitor. And because it's only like 10 feet instead of like 40 feet, you don't have anywhere near the delay that you had with the camera back here that had the antenna on it, which was the MC-108. It's more expensive, but that is way worth it. This is the Furion mount that that's connected to. And during my other installation video, it actually shows you how to do that. And that mount is included with the Dominator camera system. So what are the cons to the Dominator system? Well, the cons, you know, 
it's still wireless so you can still have a little bit of a delay but i'm telling you it's for the most part 95 percent of the time that i look at it it seems to be real time so i'm really happy with it like i say don't use that for your final check use your mirror for your final check if you're going to get in over into another lane or anything but it's really helpful i'll also say as far as the pros go that the monitor when i got the seven inch monitor initially i didn't really want that in my truck i was trying to go for a cleaner look but when i added the three cameras together that seven inch monitor has been really nice i've got used to it being there so it doesn't bother me anymore you can use a, a q mode i think it's for quad mode and you can display multiple cameras on there you can do up to four but the way that i have it set up is it shows that rear view across the top strip and then it shows both sides underneath that that are split in half and so that gives you a real-time view at all those different views at the same time in it's really nice to know what's going on around the camper while you're driving down the road i do recommend this product i will tell you that we are an amazon affiliate now so i do have links to some of these different cameras in the description and it would really help the channel out if you want to order one if you would use one of those links we would be grateful i will tell you that i have several different ones in there so i have just the range dominator camera itself with the monitor I have the uh, combination that's got the side cameras in it and you know some of those side cameras that they have now they're they're a lot nicer and easier to hook up on certain campers when i hooked the side cameras up on this camper i did mount them in the aluminum that's at the bottom on the skirting of the camper which has worked well for me but there are times when i wish it was a little bit higher and some some of those side cameras now actually have the marker lights built into them and so you can replace your marker light on your camera, which is where you're going to always get the power from anyway. But you can replace that marker light with that camera slash marker light. You just got to sit all around it. But that's going to give you a higher perspective. And it's going to not have any additional holes in the side of your camper from the mounting, which in my opinion is a good thing. Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimme Camper. I just wanted to take one second to say thank you if you're a member of our community. If you're not, please think about subscribing so that you can get our most up-to-date content as it comes out. Also, if you like our content, hit that thumbs up button because that lets YouTube share our videos to more people. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.